Joined now by Kevin Franzen, nice enough to step into the camera well, into my world. He's got the ski cap on, he's got the hoodie, he's comfortable. Kevin, uh, first of all, you joined this Nationals team last spring with two days left in spring training. How different does it feel now to be with this organization and really have an entire spring training to get into the flow? Uh, it's nice. I mean, obviously, I'd never even played here, so I had no idea, you know, uh, what what schedules were. Hey, camera guy, how are you? You want in? You want in on the conversation? Come on. Hey, how's it going? Going. Yeah, there you go. Glad to be here. Thanks for uh, that. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, so it's it's nice. I know I actually get an idea of what the schedules are like around here and and how they run things. And uh, obviously with the group of guys that uh, we have, I was really excited to get back. Um, you know, first time in the big leagues where I feel like you're getting back to it. Just the the team that we have. Not not about all the talent, just the people in the clubhouse and and, and how close we were and how much fun we had playing the game. And uh, you know, hopefully that we. Uh, take it to the season two so kind of weird being comfortable with this group and yet still being the new guy around Vieira right yeah yeah it's it, it's just it's nice being uh, around your buddies you know and then being able to go to dinners and uh, you know first first time in spring training and uh, I think this is my 11th spring training that we've had a couple get togethers at, at, at guys houses and stuff for just to eat and I, I think that that says more about uh, our team than than anything um, you know wouldn't say anything about uh, people's golf games and all that, but you know, there, there's been some good golf games out there, and uh, we've had a good time. You played four different positions for this team last year. You played first, second, third, and left field. If you had a choice, what's your favorite position? Where do you enjoy playing the most? Uh, I just enjoy being on the field, to be honest with you, uh, and being able to help out. Um, I don't have a, uh, a really favorite position now I mean I used to, I, I love second base I think there's so much action that goes involved you know that's involved that whip over there but um, I just like being on the field being able to get up there and and have a, uh, a chance to hit and do all that stuff contribute busy offseason for you on the field but it, or, or rather as far as on family stuff yeah not on the field <laughs> we'll take care of that here these next few weeks um, but as when you come into spring training you've had months to kind of prepare and focus on things that you want to improve on you've been around the game a few years now but what are you still trying to improve on uh, just the consistency uh, everything you got to do in this game is about being consistent I feel like and so the more and more you, you do in the uh, offseason to to uh, you know for, for myself be playing a bunch of positions being able to stay consistent in, in my routines and all that stuff uh, and you know at the plate um, you know one of the things as a bench guy is you tinker a lot about you know during the year because you have time to think and you know, your, your mind kind of gets a little screwy sometimes, but uh, it's not an easy job to do. Uh, not a lot of guys can do it, I feel like, in a, in a, in a very helpful way. Um, uh, so this offseason I spent, you know, time hitting with a uh, guy that knows it pretty well and, and uh, you know, got me locked into a, a lot of good, easy, simple points. So. So, FP says that you, if you want to, could have a career in broadcasting when your playing career is done. Let's have you end this interview by, do you, do you have a question for FP that you want to ask him? Yeah, I actually do. <laughs> FP, where did the uh, where did the man beard that you had during the offseason go? Because you just went to that Italian one that you got there. I don't know about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I was going to compliment you on yours, but since you're crushing mine... He said he was going to compliment you on yours, but since you're crushing his, he's going <laughs> to hold back on the compliment for now. Tell him I, just got, right, tell him right. I have a lot of... He looks great. Tell him I have a lot of just for broadcasters in my beard. He has a lot of just for broadcasters in his beard. <laughs> <laughs> Serving as the middleman here. Oh, this is great. Kevin, thanks for the time, man. No problem. Thank you.